function that we need to calculate. Let's just simplify this. This is equal to 1 over n minus 1 times the expected value of the summation of the x squareds, okay, minus 2 times n times x bar squared plus n times x bar squared, okay. And we have minus 2 times n x bar squared plus an n x bar squared leaves us with minus 1 of them. So this becomes uh, 1 over n minus 1 times the expected value of the summation of the x squared terms minus n times uh, the x bar squared terms. Okay. Uh, well, just this is a summation. We can distribute our expected value across a summation. So this becomes uh, 1 over n minus 1 times, well it's going to be times the expected value okay, of the summation, so it's the expected value of the summation of x squared, okay, minus the expected value of n times x bar squared. Okay. So we're nearly there, just some more algebra to do, okay, let's just push this on a little bit, okay, some more algebra. Okay. Uh, so we bring the constant outside of this particular expectation. We can also bring the summation. Okay, don't forget this is a, an expectation of a summation of x squared terms, okay, which is the same as the sum of the expectations. Okay, so this becomes one over n minus one times the sum of the expectation of x squared minus n times the expectation. Whoops, this should be an in E here, the expectation of x bar squared. Okay. Uh, now, from our previous identities, okay, let me just take this and maybe put this on a on a on a new sheet. Okay. So the last sorry the last step of the proof here, okay, was that we had the identity uh, one over n minus one times the sum of the expected value of x squared minus n times the expected value of x bar squared. Okay, that's what we had uh, from our previous from our previous line. Okay. Now, what we know here is that the summation of these expectations, yes, okay, uh, that this is going to be the same as well. We've already shown earlier on. Okay, what we've actually shown earlier on is that uh, we're going to end up with with n of these guys here. Okay. So what this becomes equal to, this is equal to 1 over n minus 1 times, well, this is going to be n times the expected value of x squared, okay, minus n times the expected value of x bar squared, okay. And from our previous two identities, we know from earlier on, we know that the expected value of x squared is simply equal to sigma squared plus mu squared, and that the expected value of x bar squared is equal to sigma squared over n plus mu squared. Okay? So with them two facts, uh, we have that this becomes equal to 1 over n minus 1 times, okay? it's n times, okay? the expected value of x squared uh, is sigma squared plus mu squared, Okay, and it's going to be minus n times the expected value of x bar squared is sigma squared over n plus mu squared. Okay, so when we multiply through by the n, this gives us one over n minus one times. Okay, n times sigma squared is n sigma squared. Uh, n times mu squared is plus n mu squared. Uh, minus n times sigma squared over n is minus sigma squared. And then what we're going to have is we're going to have minus n times mu squared gives us minus n mu squared. Okay. And uh, we can actually see what cancels here. The n mu squared and the minus n mu squared cancels. So this gives us 1 over n minus 1 times n sigma squared minus sigma squared. Okay. So we have n of these sigma squareds and we take one away from them. So we're left with n minus one of them. Okay. So this is the same as one over n minus one times n minus one sigma squareds. And clearly the n minus ones here are going to cancel through. So this gives us that this is equal to sigma squared. Okay. 
that was a very very long proof but what we have just shown here okay uh, we have just shown okay, uh, that the expected value of the sample variance s squared is equal to sigma squared which shows us that the sample variance is an unbiased estimator of the population variance okay guys I know this was a uh, quite a long video it required a lot of algebraic manipulations and so on uh, required a number of preliminary identities with respect to expectations uh, but hopefully this uh, has been somewhat intuitive and helped with respect to your understanding uh, that the sample variance is an unbiased estimator of the population variance sigma squared so once again guys thank you for your time uh, this was Jonathan Lambert with the mathematics development and support service at the National College of Ireland